Now I would like to show you how to deal with uh, the shrimp brush. I have one over here. EP shrimp top brush right here. I have this little pink. There you go. So let's say you want to do a shrimp pattern. it is to create any shrink pattern using the brushes so that it will eliminate it, you know the need to do dubbing loop as you know they kind of pain in the neck to do that and deal with it so there you have it this is going to be the body I'm going to stop right there your time. And simply, let's see, we're going to do the top. It's going to be the top. And look, your eyes over here, your antennas and you know to do anything you want. This is a fairly a small tie but one thing I really want to point to you is this. It's a really nice touch. If this is too long of course over here, don't just go over here with the scissors and cut it because it will look unnatural but just go with your scissors like that. to trim down and this is for you to have an idea how to set the legs any way you want I hope you like it Okay, another one I would like to show you is how to deal with um, uh, the brushes, the short fibers. It's not really how to deal, but you know how to handle this easy does it situation. Here it is. I like to do this when it comes do micro crafts or micro shrimps. I use this kind of brushes over here. here. Again, simple enough just to wrap around. Of 
course you're gonna put some ice, you wanna put some lead, if you wanna put some bead chain. Okay, so again, this is just to give an idea about what you can do with it. So once you have this, and this time I'm not going to remove this fly. I mean this whatever we want to call at this point out of the vise. So if you again just to trim at the top and the bottom see there you have it your micro crab. So it creates a nice flat body, as you can see. Okay. Okay. What I would like to show you is the combination you can do with the various brushes. Now in this case, you know, in the sparkle, which I have a piece over here, and I have a piece of the ultra brush. So, just to let me give an idea what I have in my mind over here. This could be a good stiller, it could be a good striper, it could be a good of anything that swims pretty much. Again, it all depends on the color combination you are uh, willing to create it and whatever is working for you in your area or what. Uh, it works when it comes to the fish you will be targeting. So here we have this is my black color. Simply going to wrap around. Again, if you want to put it on the body with a different color, you can do that. grab the red sparkle like that and basically what I will do is I, I do a red head in front of the black and you'll see a pretty looks and I guarantee you effect as well. Of course, if you put a eyes, um, you can put like a corn head, lead, no lead, whichever is good for you and for what you're going to use this for. So many colors combination that you can create it. As you can see, you have the length of a big fly over here. 
you can use the regular anadromous if you want to make this short I used over here as the ultra brush and there you are I hope you enjoyed what I just showed you and the materials and as always if you have any question please feel free to contact me be good